Real sterile production clean rooms are strictly regulated and very expensive to build and maintain. It is impossible to expose large numbers of students to real life teaching and learning activities and it is increasingly difficult and costly to deliver efficient teaching practices in this area due to resource, space and time restraints. The virtual sterile production facility has been developed jointly by Monash University and the School of Pharmacy, University of London, to enable pharmacy students to understand the practice of creating sterile pharmaceuticals in a clean room environment. This three-dimensional virtual facility has been created with features and activities you would find in a real-life clean room facility. The sterile production clean rooms are located in a region of the virtual world Second Life called Pharmatopia. The Pharmatopia project incorporates 12 schools of pharmacy from around the world. Individual students, in the form of avatars, begin by wearing a clipboard which they use to complete assigned tasks as they pass through the course. After donning soft shoes they are allowed through the first door to enter the clean rooms. In each clean room there are a series of exercises simulating what would have to be done in a real clean room. These exercises must be completed correctly before the student is able to continue through the course. Wrong answers will lead to a repeat questioning regime, ensuring students understand key principles before they can move on. Throughout the course, an arrow shows students where they should be going to complete the next activity. The first QA office requires students to complete three environmental monitoring checks of the clean rooms, microbial count, particle count and pressure readings. Students must check current readings against pharmacopoeia standards and satisfy the requirements before proceeding. Once again, wrong answers and choices will result in a more extensive questioning regime. Students then move on to the office desk where they receive the prescription, perform calculations and correctly select the work items from the list to make up the product they require. They must select the correct order for hand washing and gowning up on their clipboard to proceed. After checking themselves in the mirror, they are then able to pass through to the clean room where sterile consumables and items to make up the product are stored. In this clean room, they must travel along the shelves collecting the items they need to make up the prescription using their clipboard. Once they have selected the correct items from one section, the trolley moves to the next. After spraying their products with alcohol and placing them in the transfer hatch, they can then move through to the second change room. Here they once again wash hands and put on a new set of clean room garments by correctly answering the quizzes, this time with a mask and gloves in options, and check themselves in the mirror before proceeding. The final clean room contains the laminar flow cabinets. Students retrieve their items from the transfer hatch and must then select how to arrange work items systematically in the laminar flow cabinet. Once successful they must then select the correct sequence of processing events to create the finished sterile product. The student must then select how they wish to pass the finished product back to the office for dispensing. This may include a final heat sterilisation process involving an autoclave or a hot air oven. The student can then return to the QA office where they must label the product correctly by filling in the gaps on a clipboard form. Once they have done this activity, they have completed the course and the QA track report card will present them with scores which they collected or lost in each clean room.